G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at today is how to multiply four digit numbers. So two four digit numbers together. And we're going to start very, very easily on this, but before we start on this, I think it would really be recommended, if you haven't done this already, that you're going to look at my videos on how to multiply two two digit numbers and how to multiply two three digit numbers together. This will probably make this video a whole lot easier if you do that, because a lot of the ideas we looked at there are the same as the ideas we're going to look at in this video. So I'll put these links up, hopefully they're there, if they don't write some uh, comment and, and remind me and I'll, and I'll add those, but I, I should be able to remember that. Anyway, let's go then. I'll, let's see how fast you can do uh, this particular question then. I'll tell you what, we'll start off with a nice easy one. What about this four digit number, 1012? And, and we're going to times this, I'll give myself a bit of space, by 1123. I'll give you five seconds to get the answer on that one. How'd you go on that? If you got the answer, if you got the answer of 1,136,476, you did really, really well. Hey, but if you didn't, and you're still trying to work it out, I'm going to show you a little trick on how you might get a bit faster with doing these. You might not be able to get it in five seconds, but you're still going to get it a whole lot faster than you're probably used to working it out. Okay, so... This is how I'd work out this particular equation. Okay, so first off, we want to get the, we're going to work by getting the answer in this direction. So I'm going to get the last answer, uh, the last number of this answer, and then right up to the first number. And I'll show you how I do this. Two times three is six. So I'm going to multiply these two numbers first together. Two times three is six. That's the very last number of our answer. Okay. The next thing I'm going to solve is I'm going to get the next number coming on here. Okay, And the way we do this is I multiply this number by this number and this number by this number. Okay, So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4, and if I add these together, I get the answer of 7. Okay, pretty cool, right? Okay, let's go on to the next part of our answer. We're going to get this next number here. So, okay, so we're going to multiply these numbers, these numbers, and these numbers. You might see a bit of a pattern here. Okay. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2, nothing times 3 is nothing, and 1 times 2 is 2. And if you add all these together, you get the answer of 4. Okay, 2 plus 2 is 4. There's our next part of the answer. Alright, now this is probably the hardest calculation in the whole entire sum we've got now. Because I'm going to multiply this number and this number, this number and this number, this number and this number, this number and this number. See how you're getting a bit of a symmetrical thing going here where you know it's almost going from one corner to the opposite corner. Okay, we're getting this, this sort of thing going. So one times three is three. Nothing times two is nothing. One times one is one and two times one is two. Add all these together, we get the answer of six. Okay. Next one. Now we're going to actually work out on this no next number. And what we're going to do is now we've, we've been moving in this direction, we're actually going to start working now on this side. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, add these together, we get 3. The next numbers, you might be able to guess which ones we're going to multiply. These ones and these ones. 1 times 1 is 1, nothing times 1, no nothing times one is nothing. We add these together, we get the answer of 1. And then very last of all, what we're going to multiply is we're going to multiply these two numbers. 1 and 1, or 1 times 1, we get the answer of 1. So there's our answer. 1,136,476. And especially if you've watched those other videos, you're probably really, really getting this pattern um, of how this is working now, OK? Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a really, really easy pattern to get when you work it out. OK, so... So let's move on to one more example, and then I reckon you could probably go out on your own and, and give these a bit of a go. So I'll get rid of these, and I'll put one more example up on my little pad here. Uh, what, what about we go this one? Speaking in the eyes of symmetry, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll multiply these two numbers together. What do we get? So I'm going to do this really, really... Uh, I was going to do it quickly, but I might actually do it at a pace you might be able to give it a go to. In fact, I recommend you pause for a minute, and then we'll go through the answer together. So pause. All right, now let's go through the answer. So hopefully this is what you did. Um, 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 1 and 4 times 2. 3 plus 8 is 11. 
Now, because we actually can't write down an 11, we're not going to write the one digit, we write the one from the 11, that's the second one, and we carry one across. Okay, um, so hopefully you're good with that. Then what we do is we multiply these ones. So 2 and 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12. Together they add up to 20. We add this little one here, which is 21, and I'm going to put that in there, and we carry the 2 across. Next what we do, 4 times 4 is 16, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 2 is 12, 1 times 1 is 1. You might want to write those down. But together, those guys add up to 30. Okay, that's probably the hardest calculation of the entire bit. And then you add this little 2 on. So, that's going to be 32. Carry the 3 across. Okay, now we're on moving on to this side now. Okay, so 3 times 4, 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. Together, they add up to 20. Carry, add the 3 on, you've got 23. Okay, let's put the uh, 2 down there to carry it. Next, we've got 2 times 4, which is 8. 1 times 3, which is 3. Together, these add up to 11. Plus 2 is 13. Carry the 1 across. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. What a big answer we've got there. It is 5,332,114. So hopefully you went pretty good with this. This is a little bit, uh, slightly a modification of what uh, some other types of uh, questions they get you doing these on other videos. Um, it's a little bit bigger. I, I tend to like to put the actual carrying numbers down here. A lot of, I've noticed a few people don't do that. But it really, really helps. Rather than trying to cross things out later on, I think it's a lot easier way of doing it. Hey, let us know anyway. Tell us what you think if you've seen a few of the other methods. Anyway, I hope you get the uh, hang of that really, really quick. See you next time.